Hey guys, James here. I'm just going to do a video just to show you guys what cron is on your Linux machine. You may have seen it during startup of your machine if you don't have a splash screen. Basically what it is, it's something that will run in the background and it will run you know, specific jobs that um, may be set up on your machine to run. So if you're, for example, coming from Windows, you may notice that you know Windows will have like certain updates, or other bits of software will have updates that will just pop up, um, you know, every now and again. Basically, the job of cron is to do something very similar, and with that, it's actually a very powerful tool. You can actually, you can pretty much write a script and have it run that script as often as you like to do it, pretty much whatever you like. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to quickly write a very simple script and that script is just going to clear out our temp directory and we want to do that daily. Now with cron you can actually spec you can actually specify for a particular job to run, you know, every minute, every hour, you know, on the first and second day of the week and so forth. Uh, you know, that's beyond the scope of this video, but that would be something that I will cover in the future, but just for today we're just going to be popping in a script into our cron.daily directory which is in forward slash etc. So the first thing we're going to need to do is uh, jump into that directory and as super user jump into your favorite text editor which mine is nano and we're just going to go ahead and create a file called, let's call it uh, clear tmp. Now this will be a bash script so basically we started off with crunch bang forward slash bin forward slash sh and all we want to do is we want to remove star from var dot tmp and that's it that's all we want to do we want to run that daily so for those of you who don't know your temp directory just you know saves some you know some of its useless information but it's just basically any temp files that your system creates it it'll just basically pop it from there and um, look most distributions will you don't need to have a script like this to run but just for the sake of this example that's what we're going to do so we'll go ahead and save that now once that's saved we need to make sure that that file is executable so if we go and list our directory with ls space dash l it will show us that all these files are executable by all the users but ours isn't so what we need to do is we need to set that to be executable now to do that we use something called chmod and we pop a plus x to define it as being executable and the file that we want to make executable so for clear temp you know, we need to do that as super user of course and again if we list that directory you will now see that that is executable now what will happen is this will go ahead and clear that uh, temp directory every single day now the way um, cron runs anything that's in cron.daily it happens to run at different times of the day I'm not 100% sure exactly what time of the day it is on a few different machines I've actually tried to run any scripts from cron.daily it just happens to run at very random times I think there's some sort of there's some sort of calculation that runs in the back end but I'm not too sure but if you know please let me know in the comments but other than that that pretty much covers that off. If you again have any questions, leave me a comment. And otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Cheers.